<laughs> Sorry, am I choking you? <laughs> yeah. I don't even touch faces on your heart. Oh my god, y'all are But she still so love you. Y'all yes, so we are. We are. We sure. are. <laughs> don't let me put my heels on. You know well, I'm Don't shocked. let me put my heels on. <laughs> <laughs> so, girls, we still love each other, right? Yeah, it's just a stupid situation and it's over. So she's still your little baby sister? I'll watch my face. Mm -hmm. Yeah? Mm -hmm. She's still your sweet Sydney? <laughs> yeah. Stop it! <laughs> Sydney's, a, Sydney's our little baby. <laughs> Keep your arms down. <laughs> everywhere I've been sweating. That's okay. What? You don't think you spit up and pooped on me? <laughs> What's up, guys? Obeys. I just love MJ Harris, and he loves to say, "Get in here, get in here, get it in here." <laughs> How are you guys doing? I hope you are doing really well. Um, it is rainy here today. I will try to get this up and out tomorrow or the day after. <laughs> or the day after. <sighs> it is now, you know I love telling y'all the time. It is now almost 3 o'clock. It's 2.48. I'm just now coming downstairs. I did have a training meeting because in the, summer, in the summertime, that's where most teachers do all their trainings. And once again, I love, love, love MJ Harris because he is his true self. He is living in his truth. I just adore him so much. I do. I love people who are willing to live in their light and don't care what other people think or say about who they are as a person. Or if you're trying to change and live your life to be like somebody else, you're not, you know, doing you. Um, which brings me to this point. I'm okay with losing subscribers. Not like I got a lot anyway. I'm okay. So at this point, I do YouTube because I enjoy it. Does it pay my bills? No. It might buy us a little pizza or something like that. But outside of that, it's not paying any of my bills. It might buy us food for a mukbang and then we're done. So I'm not, I'm not banking on YouTube like that. So, but my point is, um, I'm very particular, you know, the language that I choose to use, the positivity and the positive energy that I try to give out. Sometimes I have my moments when I'm upset and this YouTube has been my outlet to let those feelings out and so on and so forth. And I do, and I love the feedback cause like I'm with family or whatever. And then you have some people who won't agree. If you don't agree with me, I am okay with that. It opens the floor for conversation, different ways of thinking about things. I may learn something new, you may learn something new, and that's what life should be about, is about that continuous growth and learning in this process of life. Because when you have stopped learning and growing, what, it, what do you have to live for? You think you know it all, but no, this stuff, even some of my students, teach me so there's still stuff that we can learn and grow from you're not always going to agree with me i'm not always going to agree with you but i am open for us to have that mature and that dialogue and that exchange and that's what makes our lives rich and vibrant and and beautiful but when you throw in hate in there and um negative energy because you're a negative person that's where I have to draw the line a little bit. I mean, someone mentioned something and there's no room for um, colorism. There's no room for prejudice on my channel. There's no room for homophobia. I'm just letting you know. There's no room for any of that there. If you are homophobic, please unsubscribe. This is not the channel for you. If you are racist, you have problems with white people, you have problems with black people or any people, if you have such a deep hate in your heart for any race, stuff like that, this is not the channel for you. I date white people, I date black people, I date Spanish people. Did I did tell you about that Asian boy in high school. He was cute. I date, but most of the people in my life I've dated have been black. Um, I've had um, 
a long-term relationship, very long-term relationship with someone who was white. That was my last relationship. They were white. So my kids have been exposed to many, many different, well, black and white, basically, and Asian. So if you have issues with that, I don't. <laughs> I don't. If you have, I'm, I'm, I'm just letting you know now. If you are homophobic, this is not your channel. I don't know what else to say if you have homo issues gay issues anything like that that's not the channel for you <laughs> it, it just isn't so just unsubscribe i'm good with the people who love me support me but if you have strong it why i'm like mm -mm, that's not the channel i'm just letting you know it's not the channel i date white i date black i could be dating white now i i get that i that Boop, boop, boop. That's why certain things, I keep certain things in my life private. You know, I think my my um, relationship wise, I've always kept that private. Because sometimes when you start to live your life or have your relationship on YouTube, it will tear relationships up. And then you listening, then you listening to all the people, what they're saying and blah, blah, blah. And you getting all this feedback and all this white noise coming in from this side, that side. Then you basing your relationship on that. Nope. So I'm proud of myself. I mean, even when I started YouTube, nobody really knew that I was in a relationship or what type of relationship, nobody knew that. But, and I think it kind of, it may have hurt their feelings a little bit, but that is my personal choice. If people have an issue with me, you know, if I'm seeing somebody, if they have an issue with me, keeping my relationship private and not showcasing on YouTube, then that's something that they're gonna have to work out or they don't have to rock with me. But I keep that part of my life. I share everything else. I share my finances. I share my kids. I share my ups and downs. How I'm broke. How I'm not broke. How what I bought. I share everything else. But that one little sliver of the pie, I've chosen to keep private. I was listening to um, Domo. I love Domo. She lives on truth. And uh, she was saying she would never, ever... Well, you know, sometimes we say never, ever, and it's never, ever, 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 um, put another one of her relationships on YouTube. She says she's not hiding um, her or him or whoever she decides to date. She wouldn't be hiding them from the world. She'd be hiding the world from them. So you kind of want to build this protective barrier because, you know, I'm telling you, people are just, whew, they're so... They're, they're not nice, they're not nice. But sometimes I feel as though when it comes to my children, um, people like to say Bobby's my favorite, <laughs> Clinton, um, that's a whole other story. My mind don't talk about Clinton anymore. Let's just say, just to give you an update, um, Clinton, um, I have not heard or spoken to Clinton maybe over a month and a half. That I'll just, I'll just, I, I, I hear through the grapevine he's doing okay. Still no job though. But um, but he's he's living his life, so he'll be 19. That um, you guys may have opinions on that, whatever. Then that that's fine. If there's an opportunity that comes up and um, I talk about it, that's fine. But he's doing him. He's he's doing him. Um, somebody said something about Sydney, and um, sh her feelings are hurt. Her feelings are, and I wanted to go live, but my camera <laughs> um my ipad was didn't have any coverage and i don't like doing it on my phone so i made it a video well i'm just talking i should be making my coffee um i'm so, i'm hungry so um so sydney her feelings were hurt with the last video she was like mom i swear guys i did not know the kids read comments she was like mom they were kind of mean <laughs> Only one was really me, but I guess she felt as though nobody took up for her and blah blah blah. But I can see both sides. I can see Sydney's side and I can see Bobby's side. And because uh, everybody, 99.9% .9 of the people took Bobby's side, I'm going to side with Sydney. <laughs> and you know, as um, as an educator, we can teach our students to take one side or the other and they write a paper. So, you know, I can I can find the light 
in, in both sides. I see the light in both sides. So, and I, my sign is a Libra, so I'm always looking for fairness. And sometimes I wonder, Bobby is an Aquarius. I don't know if you guys do the zodiac signs and stuff like that, but I truly believe in the balance. Mine is the little, the balancing, the scales of balance and justice. And that, that's how I feel as though my life is really, is I try to be fair and think, um, and empathetic and think how someone I, someone else may feel and I, and I take time to reflect it could be because I'm old it could be because I've had lots of life experiences it could be a lot of things but with Sydney so I'm gonna I'm gonna try to help Sydney out Sydney did ask and it was it was I thought it was cute. It was a little sibling argument. But the one thing about the argument that no one pointed out is that it was a good argument. Yes, Bobby got heated, but there was no name calling. There was no insulting each other. There was no profanity. When you argue, you have a disagreement, that's natural. That's a good thing. That That's great. You're going to have arguments, but how you argue and how you respond is going to mean a difference in the world. There's some people that they argue ugly. They argue ugly. I can remember, I haven't really argued with my um, ex-husband's. Um, the last relationship, I think we had one ugly argument. It was more a lot of, yeah, yeah, it was one ugly argument <laughs> that I can really remember. But no, I kind of, I don't get dirty. I don't argue. I don't argue dirty. Some people argue dirty, call you names, call you out of this. I can only really remember one time kind of had an argument like that. But, um, but I feel as though they took that disagreement, took that argument. We did talk about it later. Um, the girls are starting to warm up to each other. If you haven't seen that video, the girls were, they had a, a disagreement. And I, and I told Sydney, and she was so, I said, well, Sydney, I'm going to kind of, I'm going to be on your side. She was like, really? Because she read the comments and her feelings were a little hurt. But she did see Bobby's side, but she still feels strongly about her side with the little six dollars and it was it was a silly argument but it was cute it's a sibling argument it's a teenager argument some someone said oh they're childish this is stupid but you know at 15 14 15 16 you are childish i don't know if you know this but your brain is not fully developed as a teenager the brains are still developing. There have been medical and case studies and comparisons of an adult brain and a teenager's brain. That rationale part of the frontal lobe is still developing in a teenager. And somebody's like, oh, she's laughing. That's how, that's what some teenagers do. They laugh at silly up. Remember, I've, I've been teaching, teaching them. They're the silliest, most immature, little tiny, adult looking little people you'll ever want to be around all day long. Silly. So she behaved like a teenager. She behaved like a child. She behaved, she giggled. That's how she was supposed to behave. That, that, that was, she's, she's child. And like I said before, a teenager's brain is still developing. Hello, Bobby. Bobby just walked in. How was workout? Huh? I'm gonna go bring Christian Are there any left? Nobody touches cinnamon rolls, or I didn't. So anyway, the point I wanted to make, Bobby, hey Bobby, say hi Bobby. Hi. Hi. Jesus. <laughs> Ooh, you look fine. She just came from basketball workouts. You uh uh use some soap. You're gonna get your hands wet first though. Okay, you use some soap. soap. You gotta get some your hands wet and then you know the soap has uh huh. I don't know how to see. You gotta get the <laughs> and some people said, well, why would you, just a few people, some people said, well, why did you give, I wouldn't have given Bobby the $6. I didn't. She got 10 <laughs> Bobby just finished Girl State. What was Girl State? I did. She um, just finished Girl State. And yeah. that was an intense program. And they had to convert from... Um, a physical meeting to virtual. She was supposed to be in Austin at the state capitol for a full week. So she just finished that program. And what, what, what could, that's going to be a separate video on her experience. And how was that experience? Best experience of my life. Uh, it was the best thing, one of the best things that I've done in a while. I absolutely loved it. So mm -hmm. if any of you ever get the opportunity to go to Girl State or Boy State, but you have to be 
yeah it was a whole process for me to get to be able to go but it was one of the best experiences of my life like hands down and now what are you doing so she was doing girl state and an internship that had to be um virtual as well so now what are you about to do you're pre you're doing you're creating yeah so basically i have to create a it's kind of like a business proposal and i'm selling where we live to a company so i we had to make a big presentation and i have to sell the area that we live in to a company for them to relocate their corporate office offices to our area. So you're creating a huge presentation to present to the board. Yes, of the so I have to present it to my mentors and then to the board of the internship. Right. So that's a big panel of very important people. Yes. So. Okay. And you just finished speed camp for school. My school basketball. And then tonight you have a U bas ice club basketball tonight. Right. At 7.30. And the only reason I wanted her to go through what she's doing is because she's very busy. So, her plate is so full. So, she just finished Girl State. She's doing an internship for the summer. You know, learning about business, whatever she's learning. Then she's doing basketball practice with her school. And then later tonight, then she's doing basketball practice for an outside basketball league. Once again, the reason I mention is people ask me, oh, I wouldn't have given her the $6. Do you see how busy? I'm like, oh, they need jobs. They need jobs. She is living her job. She, she's doing everything. She, and, I, and I want to show you something else. What she did with the, with the chore chart. I created a chore chart. That's a whole nother vlog. Oh, <laughs> she didn't oh. want what I created. That's how you do. So anyway. Huh? Huh? So anyway, look how busy she is. Sydney. She's trying, she created a flyer, she worked on a flyer to try to get a little job for the summer. She is a little social, she does a lot of stuff with her church still. Um, she has been looking for work and there aren't as many jobs available at 15 than it is at 16, is that true? Oh um, yeah. Right, so she's kind of waiting to that 16. And with Corona, and with Corona, it's been a little hard on the world. There are some people who are unemployed. Thank God Almighty, I still have my job. Thank God Almighty, I have $6 to give these girls. Could my girls be into other things? Absolutely. So in my mind, I look at the bigger picture. Bobby is doing all this stuff. Honestly, I couldn't ask for a better daughter. Sydney, she probably up there studying the Bible right now, trying to properly plan her next social outing and properly crying, looking for jobs. I couldn't ask for a better daughter. Why wouldn't I give these good little girls $6? Sydney went to the thing with the expectation, both of them, they did not know they had to pay. Sydney didn't have a card, Bobby had a card. God bless you. God Sorry. bless you. So, of course, Sid, the whole deal, Bobby felt as though Sydney had money. She shouldn't have asked. You feel as though she shouldn't have asked me for the money? But Sydney did. She sent me two texts when she realized. I just went through my stuff. I was like, I know she did ask me. So, I feel like double checking myself. She sent me two texts. Mom, can you pay Bobby back? I don't have my card. Do you mind giving her back the money? I was asleep, so when I, I did respond, I said, yeah, I'll give her back the money for you. I knew she only had the little $8. You, neither one of you knew. That's why I gave you $10 back instead of 6 You didn't know you had to pay when you went there, did you? Mm -hmm. That's why I gave you back the $10. Sydney didn't know. Could Sydney have said, could Sydney have rationalized and like, well, let me pay um, Bobby back the $6, and then I'll just ask Mom. That's called rational thinking. Remember, that developmental part of the teenager's brain is not fully developed, so they're not always thinking rationally. That's something that they grow and mature into. That's why I said, I said, let me try to help Sydney out a little bit. She's still a child, she's still immature. If I was 15, 60, I probably wouldn't want to give up $6 of my last little $8 either. 
because sometimes I am late on the return. <laughs> so anyway. <laughs> yeah, that was that was my thing. I was not mad at you because you didn't give me my money back right away. I was mad at Cindy for the fact that Cindy could have paid. Cindy could have paid. We could have used my That car. would have been rational thinking. Cindy could have paid mm -hmm. me on the spot, but then she could have went to you and asked her yeah. money. But yeah. Cindy felt as though... She, I'm gonna keep my right because she already asked me and the time that she asked me was 6 49 a.m she sent me two texts and then the third one she added a little question mark like mom so she did she sent three to try to get your money back she did and then i just you know sometimes my brain that rational part of my brain don't be working all the time either no it does not you know i'm stuck in a teenager's world so therefore i went on about my business i went on about my day sydney was not thinking about giving up her eight dollars and 64 cents she was not she was like well mom said she gonna pay it back so mom and then she texted me later today to remind me that's how I went down. So I, I I see what you guys are saying. I see what she's saying. Look what Bobby made. She made those from scratch, y'all. Yeah, they're pretty with good. With yeast. That's not a good picture. She made that with yeast. Ooh, girl. You yeah, see? These are cinnamon buns. So that's good. Sorry. But do you see where Sydney was like, she had asked me three times and then she asked me again? Yeah. But Cindy was stuck on, mom got me, mom says she'll pay it back. Yeah. That's where she was. But that rational part, we don't all make rational decisions. So that's why I felt as though your anger was mis misplaced, it misdirected. Should have but been I, wasn't the, okay, I wasn't, I don't know how to explain this, but I was not, I'm, I was not mad at you. I'm not no, I'm not. not. I felt as though you should have been upset with no, me. No, but I wasn't. <laughs> I was mad at Cindy the fact that no. she, that it's over it is but, but they 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 break down in the comments and yeah, I, I felt and bad that's felt, like i felt bad so i have to i have, I want to explain and i wanted to take it way back to facts how a, a teenager's brain it was like oh she's childish yeah that's how she's supposed to act you know we laugh they giggle at stuff you know depending on the situation that's what they do yeah i'm not i'm not it, mad at sydney i think you know just a little miss Missed up, you know, but Sydney still, I still love my sister despite the six dollar petty argument we had. But I think, you know, Sydney, it, it's it is what it is, and it was what it was. It's over now. And Are you over it, or you still got an attitude? Cause Sydney did text me, Mom, she's she's being so mean. When? I think when she asked you what was for dinner, and you know what, Bobby spoils Sydney the most. Cindy will go to Bobby. Bobby, what 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 can I eat? Can you help me? Can you cook something for me, Bobby? She goes to Bobby. Bobby spoils her. So I guess Bobby is kind of like the other, like her other mom. So she's like, Bobby, I will have just like she came to me. So I guess it's kind of the same. She looks to Bobby as the older, bigger, rational sister. And that's why she went to you for this. Well, she did She did not have her card on her. And when you wake up at 4.30 in the morning and wait online two hours, I wouldn't have wanted those poor girls to walk away either. I got $6. Expensive smoothie. But did you get your smoothie today? I did. I did get my smoothie today. Was it, it was good? Good. I got a pineapple, kale, coconut water, honey smoothie. So. Wait, huh? It was so nice. She was like... You're gonna try like every flavor? I was like, yeah, maybe. Yeah. Maybe. You should. I'm gonna, yeah, I'm gonna get something new tomorrow. So. so I would say, so about $8, around $8 for me. So for around a ballpark of $500, if they both the girls go every day, they didn't get $500 worth of smoothies for the month. Come on, $6, little cute sibling argument. But like I said before, they didn't use profanity, they didn't. Um, call each other names. It was a good clean argument an argument that they need to take from that experience learn from it She knows how Sydney felt Sydney knows how she feels but Sydney is the baby of the family and she's spoiled <laughs> She's spoiled. She's like no mom says she gonna give you back that six dollars So you wait around for mom, you know, I was her age. I would not want to give up my little few dollars either yeah, and I I understand that. I 
probably wouldn't have wanted to either. But so if the shoe was on the other foot and, and Sydney had the car and, and then you said, Mom, can you pay Sydney back? Will you be thinking, oh, let me go home right away and pay Sydney back until mom gets around to it? That's what you're going to be thinking in your mind? No, what I would have done if I was in Sydney's shoes, I would have charged Sydney my $6 and then I would have gone to you and asked if I could have, if I, if, you know, I only got $2 left, can I have, can I have some money? That would have been Even me. Even though you asked me? I wouldn't have asked you. I would have. I would have given no. Cindy my. I would have transferred her my six dollars because we. You talking about when you got home? She didn't have. Oh, you talking about from the bank? Oh, from the bank account. We can transfer each other money. So I would have transferred her my money and then went to you like, okay. I only got two dollars. Okay. I'm going somewhere later today. Can I have some money? Mm -hmm. That would have been. That, that's just me. That's just. Well, me. let me tell you. Bobby was born old. That's just me. <laughs> when Bobby was born, I was like, ooh. She looks like an old Indian lady um, because her grandparents on the other side, the dad is part Indian. So I was like, ooh, she looks like an old Indian lady. But she has an old spirit and she thinks differently than Bobby. And that's why I know, than Sydney. <laughs> you know, I know the girls and I also know Clinton. Now, if Clinton, he's not here. But if Girl, he had asked nobody me, nobody would have got their money back. Nobody would have got, got their money back. Mm -hmm. No, and I would not have given him uh, $6 for a smoothie. No, go get a job. Oh, I no. need to get a job. No, that's why I was, go get a job. I see all the things that the girls are doing. I see, I see him. No, was, they're, they're just all different. They're just all different. Would I have given Clinton $6 for a smoothie? Absolutely not. Nope. Now, if he needed it, oh, mom, I need a pair of socks or shirt for a job interview i got you buddy absolutely but for fun play stuff no 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 i i, I just i just wouldn't y'all gonna say i'm wrong because of that but i see all the positive things that the girls are doing mm -mm. Mm -mm. it's like when you're giving out that positive energy and that positive light it's gonna come back to you so that's why i see all the things the girls do so if i have it if i can sometimes i've asked you guys for help um, I had the girls do, you know, their little Amazon wish list for the girls. I, because I see what they do. I see how hard they work. Anyway. At the end of the day, it's in the past, you know, just some petty sibling stuff. But it's over and, you know. So if Sydney asked you for $3 and she forgot her card again. What you gonna do, Bobby? What? Okay. <laughs> <laughs> All right. <laughs> because that's her sister, and that's what she'll probably do. Yes. Mm -hmm. But I think there were both sides of the story. So yeah. I don't think anybody was wrong. I don't think anybody's right. So I guess I can see both sides, but I wanted bobby to see and he i'm glad she came in i wanted her to hear the other you know a different way of thinking about um how sydney was thinking about it it was like i think she was so upset she could not hear sydney's way bobby when you were mad sydney bobby look, look i'm getting them all mixed up bobby sydney clint sit down you know what you want to talk to no mm -hmm. i i understood sydney's way but i just you know you didn't want to hear it no, I heard it. I heard I heard what she was talking about, but I, in my eyes, I just thought there was a better way of going about that, but, you know, but it's over. It's over. I feel as though when you have directions, there's more than one way to skin a cat or get to the bottom of a situation. She just went about it a different way than you would. It doesn't make her wrong. It doesn't make you right. They just went through different avenues. Cindy went through me because I said I would give her back the money and that's what she was stuck on. Bobby was like, no, I sent you the money. You need to send me back the money right now. And Cindy was like, okay, wait for mom because mom said she would she'd pay you back the $6. And I was going somewhere. So. And that's why, and that's why Sydney texted me when I was out for to get you the money, and I wasn't paying attention to my phone. I was focused on my friend. Yeah. So Sydney tried like five times to get you your money. Because I was. Because she. 
texting her. But uh, I'm, I don't even want to think about that anymore. It's And Sydney, um, someone said something in the comments. It was a troll. It really was. But if my kids decided to marry a zebra, a cow, a girl, a boy, a snake, that is their prerogative. I am not here to change who or what they want to be. I just want them to be the best that they can be with whatever they decide. If Bob, she, she's not gay, I've asked her, she's not gay. But if Bobby said, mom, you know, I don't feel good in my body, I would like to transition. Are you sure? Okay, if that's what you wanna do and if that makes you happy, then fine. Did you have a friend who just transitioned at age? I did, actually. Mm -hmm. She has a friend who started hormone, a girl who just started hormone therapy. Um, and I was like, that's fantastic. Obviously, she can't start hormone therapy without the support of her parents. And I think supporting your child, whatever they decide, that's what you, that's what I'm going to do for my girls. Whatever some, someone else does, that's their business. But for my kids, if that's what they want to do, I'm more of a free spirit. Do what's going to make you happy because you only have one life. I'm not going to try to force Sydney to have black friends that's just like forcing Sydney to be um, straight if she's gay. No, I can't force her friendships. She formed those frank organic friendships on her own and they, they all love her for her, not because of the color of her skin. Just like if, she, if Sydney was gay, I'm not gonna force her to be straight. And that's why there's such a high suicide rate in, with gay children because the parents don't support them. Do you know of any people who parents don't support their child? I do, actually. It's kind of sad, to be honest. Mm -hmm. It's sad. Because now, what, what, what children tend to do, they tend to sneak and hide and put themselves in compromising positions because now they can't be who they are, living their truth. And this is why I like MJ Harris, too. Because what happens, you trying to change your life to please other people, but you're forgetting about yourself. You want to change to make other people feel comfortable, but you're forgetting about yourself. Right. Mm -mm. If Sydney joined a group of Hare Krishners, I don't know what that is, but go ahead if that's going to make you happy. As long as you're safe, you're not being harmed or hurt in any kind of way, do what's going to make you happy. Mm -hmm. So me, I'm more of a free spirited, easy going mom because my mom was easy going with me. Now my brother and sister, pug through the ringer child. But no, I was the easy child. So whenever I asked for something, I got it. Why wouldn't you give a, an, a phenomenal child, if you can, give them whatever they want within reason and if you can like six dollars i have six dollars now she's asking for six hundred dollars no i don't got it six dollars i got you go and get you a smoothie girl n maybe one day you go get one for me okay you give me the free smoothie one day one day you know what i'm saying yeah, yeah. huh yeah and i really feel like we can get more than one in a day because they just there's like a bunch of boxes there's like 30 boxes and then they just scratch one of them off Right, for 30 smoothies. Yeah. Oh, you're saying you think you could get, okay. You could probably get away with it because I'm technically behind one day because I didn't go yesterday. But I feel um, like they would remember, they would remember me. I feel like they may, unless it's so many different, I don't know. Oh, that's a, that's a good point. Because it's <laughs> like 31 boxes because you get it for a full month. Mm -hmm. And they just scratch one of the boxes out, so. Yeah, you can't be, look, don't be missing no days because this, this smoothie $6 business then shook things up. So we getting no smoothies, okay? Right. <laughs> I go in with a different. <laughs> I got a text from Sydney. Somebody want to take me to get a smoothie? <laughs> meaning you. Right, meaning me. We're not going to talk about that. We're working on that. Yeah. I have a meeting so set with her. Okay. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Alright, I'll be back. Well guys, this is why um you know, um overall just we have these conversations and we learn from them and we grow from them. 
the girls talked about it because what it does it sets them up for future arguments future relationships how to argue how not to argue think about how someone else may feel putting yourself in their shoes so you know although i create these videos once again these are life lessons that once i'm gone because y'all know i'm oh but once i'm gone my kids will have these lessons and maybe hopefully they'll look back on them and learn something from them or learn what not to do it's like you see this you see what mom did don't do what mom did and that's okay because these are lessons that I want them to have and to learn and grow from. Um, your feedback is important um, as well because it, it starts that conversation. And starting that conversation, that's how we grow, that's how we learn, and that's how we form and um, go from there. You may not agree with everything we just said and that's okay. Life is also about agreeing to disagree as well. And that's the beautiful thing about life. This video is long. I didn't plan on it to be, I wanted it to be a vlog, but I just thought, you know, I had the talking problem. You know, you know I do. I'm just counting on my top five to be in there with me. <laughs> but once again, you know, I want this channel to be about love, peace, and joy. Love all people, all races, all genders, all sexual preferences. If your heart is not open to that, this is not the channel for you. I've dated white, I've dated, I've dated purple, blue, black, green. I could be dating white now. You don't know I could be dating Spanish. I could be dating this. I don't know. Do you know? It's about love and how someone makes you feel and makes you think about yourself and about the world that goes around. Okay. Y'all know don't get me started. So I'm gonna end this video now and then I'm gonna start another one. So maybe I'll change my hat. <laughs> Let me know what you think below. Do you have a different way of thinking about it? The maturity of a teenager's mind is different from that of an adult. Some may be able to rationalize things or it could be a specific situation. They may not rationalize it the way that you can or the way that you may think about it. But they may get them down the line. You know, they just have different strengths and weaknesses as their brains continue to develop. But, you know, the girls are good. They're, they're going to be good. They're sisters. Hopefully, you know, they'll remain close for the rest of their lives. I'm not sure um, about the dynamics with Clinton. I'm really not. But I really do hope that the girls will stay close and keep each other close. Because once I'm gone, all they'll have is each other. So with that said, I'll talk to you guys later.